Today we are going to be showing you how to troubleshoot fault code 253, drive prevented, charger connected on your JLG electric scissor lift. If your machine is encountering this fault there will be no drive when activated and the fault light will flash a 2, 5 code. Lift functions will be unaffected. Possible causes for this are A faulty battery charger Faulty wiring or connections Or A faulty control module Troubleshooting steps 1. Plug in your JLG analyzer and turn the key switch to the platform position. Pull out both emergency stop switches. 2. Press enter twice to read log to help to view all possible codes that would prevent drive. 3. Check if the charger is plugged in and disconnect if necessary. 4. Check the voltage between the red and black wires coming out of the charger. Should be 24 volts. 5. For a Sefkin power module, check the charger interlock wires, orange slash red, 49 to 4, and, yellow slash red, 2-5-9 for 24 volts by back probing the X018 connector located at the charger. If the yellow slash red wire has 24 volts but not the orange slash red wires, disconnect and install a jumper wire at the X018 connector between the two wires going to the ground module. Check for drive function and help codes. If drive function returns, repair or replace the charger. If drive is still disabled, back probe into J1-29 in the ground control and check for 24 volts. If no voltage, repair wiring as necessary. If 24 volts is present, replace the ground module. If 24 volts is not present on the yellow slash red 2-5-9 wire, trace the wire back to the ground control box and repair the open circuit. The signal comes from inside the ground box. Once the wire is repaired, recheck the drive function. 6. For a ZAPI control module, check the charger interlock wires by back probing the wires at the X20 connector located at the charger. Wire 40 to 4 should have 24 volts. If no voltage, trace to the Sonic Weld S42 from the battery relay. Repair the wiring as necessary. If 24 volts is present, install a jumper wire at X20 and check the drive function. If drive came back, repair or replace the charger. If still no drive function, check for voltage at J1-26 at the ZAPI control module. If no voltage present, repair the wiring as necessary. If 24 volts is present, use the analyzer. Go to access level 2 slash machine setup and change the model and mark it and then power down the machine. Power on the machine and restore the settings back to what was noted prior to changing the model and mark it. If the fault is still active, replace the control module. Thanks for watching. You can find all the parts and equipment used in this video over on our website gciron.com.